What's up with your lovelies? It's your girl Zoe. If you're new to my channel, what's up? What's popping? But if you're back, welcome back. So today's video, as you can see by the title down below, it's gonna be a little patio chit chat. Today's gonna be a little different. It's fall, the weather's perfect, and I'm here for some real raw patio chats. We're gonna dive into something I haven't really talked about in depth before. I've touched on it. You guys have seen I've been talking about how I hit rock bottom and stuff like that. Um, but today I want to talk about how I went wrong with money and where it led me and the hard lessons I've learned. So girl, go grab your drink, get cozy, and let's get into it. So in my 20s, I had some good money coming in. Like I had some good jobs. I was a bottle girl making lots of freaking money. Um, I just did a lot of things to like really make money. I was working, living life, and doing what a lot of us do. Spending money like it would last forever. Night out with my friends, fancy dinners, random shopping trips. If I wanted it, I bought it. I was living like there was no tomorrow. I thought I had time to figure out the rest later. I'll start saving when I'm 30, right? But now that I'm in my 30s, I realized I was playing myself. I spent thousands of dollars on things I can't even remember. Nights I can't even fully recall because I was drinking or out with people who I barely even like. And they're not even in my life anymore. It, just, it really wasn't until my late 20s, like I say around 28, that I started to panic a little i was like wait a minute <laughs> like i'm almost 30 and i have nothing to show for it no savings no real investment just stuff and a lot of it didn't even matter i felt like i was so far behind like i was looking around at people my age seeing them buy houses settling down and i was just flowing like one of my homegirls literally bought a house in her at 25 and i was like how did you get the money to do that and that's when the reality really hit me i didn't have time time was moving whether i was ready or not so i had to forgive myself first I had to let go of that anger towards myself and um wasting all those years and i started to pick up the pieces but y'all it's a process y'all know i'm real with y'all so here it is i actually went and applied for bankruptcy i didn't even plan on talking about it but whatever this is my real life and even that i messed up i didn't even have all the paperwork didn't fully understand the process and now i have to start the whole thing over when i tell you it was so humbling it's so humbling and this is when i realized that i'm gonna need to get help like there's some things you just can't figure out like sometimes you need a professional to step in and i should have done that a long time ago i think a lot of us especially in our 20s think we have so much time we think we can just live for the moment and worry about the future later but time doesn't wait for anybody y'all i was out here spending like i was going to live forever now i'm playing catch up if I can give anyone some advice, especially if you're in your 20s right now, it would be start early. Save that money, honey. You don't need to go out every weekend. You don't need to impress your friends. Start budgeting now. Trust me, your 30-year-old self will thank you. Now I'm in the process of getting a financial advisor because I can't even tell you where my money goes anymore. It's like it just disappears. So... That's where I am now, taking control, slowly but surely. Oh, and another thing I really want to talk about is how I always thought I had time. You hear people say, I'll get my shit together by 30, but let me tell you, time flies. But before you know it, you're sitting at 30 like, where did the time go? It's one of the scariest feelings. And what makes it even scarier right now, I feel like everything bad is happening at once. You know, like I told y'all, my mama's health is declining. Y'all, my nephew, he is wilding out. My sister went to jail be behind my nephew not be behaving. You know what I mean? It's been a lot. And not to put y'all in my sister's business, but bitch, it's a lot. I'm stressed out. And I'm just trying to hold it together. But yeah, like I told y'all, this is rock bottom. And then I know I got a lot of comments saying that this isn't rock bottom or you look like you have it all or stuff like that. But baby, never have I ever felt this low. You know what I mean? I don't think I've ever felt this low. I, I don't think I have. And I may have, but right now, y'all know when you're in the midst of going through something, it just feels like the end all be all. You know that it feels like this is the end of the world. There's n there's nothing else that can, bad can happen like this. And I just feel like that's just what it is for me. But I really appreciate all of you guys for leaving comments and on the live uplifting me and people have even emailed me reached out to me personally which really like meant so much to me i've got like several emails several dms um not several emails but i have like one email and then like three dms you know just like giving me some encouraging words and just lifting me up and i really appreciate that because I be needing it. I be needing it. So, um, one of the hardest lessons that I've learned, especially in my 30s, is that no one is coming to save you. I wish I could tell you that life magically gets easier as you get older, but baby, it doesn't. Like, I don't know. You just gotta be like your own safety net. Like, 
I just I'm learning that now. I feel like I've always kind of knew that, but like I'm really seeing this. You got to be your own safety net, and you got to be responsible for your future. And nobody else is gonna be responsible for your future. And honestly, y'all, it starts with budgeting. It starts with saying no to things you don't need. It starts with realizing that time is more valuable than money. But without money, time becomes harder. So prioritize your future. So yeah, if you're in your twenties. Use this time wisely. Trust me. Start saving now. Stop wasting money on people who don't care about you, on things you don't need, and on moments that won't last. I just want to end this by, you know, just thanking you guys for reaching out to me and um, giving me some encouraging words and uplifting me. Thank you guys for sticking around and listening to me ramble a little bit today. I hope this gave you something to think about. And if you're on the same place with me, just just know it's going to be okay. Okay? It's going to be just fine. And we're going to figure this shit out together. But this is Sincerely Zoe, and we are all on this journey. And this isn't the end of my story. There's a lot more to come. So stay tuned for what's next because I got some big changes coming. But we'll talk about that in the next video. I love y'all. Peace.